Hey y'all, welcome back. So this is the first time I've ever recorded my voice for one of these videos. So I'm sorry if the audio is, sounds a little off. I am very new to all of this, but this is something that I wanna keep on doing in the future just because I think it would add a little extra layer of fun to my videos. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see if I can, we'll see how it goes, all right. Um, but anyway, this is, this video is the first part in a very long series that I am just now starting, and that is the My Little Pony Generation 3 series. I am going to be drawing every single pony from the My Little Pony Generation 3 series, and it's gonna take me a while to do, so, uh, starting off, I decided since it's December, I might as well go ahead and start with the winter ponies that were released for generation three and so i'm gonna be you're gonna be seeing all of those throughout december here on my channel and the first one we're starting out with is minty of course i know she isn't exclusively a winter pony but i mean i had to do minty because come on it's minty minty christmas all that oh my gosh a very minty christmas was definitely one of my favorite um christmas specials when i was a kid so I knew I definitely had to do Minty first, and I had to just, just you know, give her my some Christmas treatment. And uh, you may have noticed that I that I started this drawing with a already drawn template of the pony's body. Uh, I actually preset, like pre-made, a lot of templates of just the pony's body with the ears and the nose, no hair, no eyes, no accessories, no anything. Um, usually I don't like doing stuff that way, but because I'm going to be drawing like dozens and dozens of ponies, I thought it'd just be easier to do it that way, so I can just um, do it that way. So that's how you're going to be seeing all of these ponies done throughout the series. There's going to be a, a body that I pre-drew, and, uh, and I'm just going to draw on the eyes, the facial expression, the hair, and any accessories that that pony's going to have. And so that is what I did with Minty here. You probably saw at the beginning. And I'm just going ahead and I'm, as you can see, I'm using a reference to the side. As you can see, I am referencing uh, both some of, some of the, her toys and some of the actual toys and the actual animated series, uh, just to uh, get an idea of what I want to get in my design. I gave her freckles just because I think that's really cute and she deserves them, come on. And uh, as for everything else, I gave her this um, the, this cute scarf and socks that she's seen wearing in that one toy here. And of course, I am also giving her a Santa Claus hat, which if you've seen A Very Minty Christmas, you'd know it's just a sock that she's wearing on her head. And I also gave her the Here Comes Christmas candy cane, if you know, you know. She's holding it in her hoof, and I just think that that was a very cute detail to add. I One thing I want to do for every single pony I do in this series is I don't want any of them to look the same. I want them to, uh, because there are so many ponies in the G3 series, they, uh, they do sometimes tend to repeat color palettes, which you will see a little later, in, a little later on in this series. And so I, I definitely want to give them all something different, whether it's a different accessories or different hairstyles or different facial expressions, just, different poses I, I just want I don't want any two ponies to look too similar so that is what I am doing with this right here I just want to reiterate that I'm not used to recording my voice for some of these videos so it so this this is a little awkward but I do want to I'm gonna definitely plan on getting better at this so please be patient with me so as you can notice, I'm the way that I choose to color my images is I like to do one section at a time, one, like one section of color. So I fill in one section of color, whether it be the green of her fur or the pink in her hair or the white furry details. And then I like to do the shadows and the highlights all on one layer that I clipped onto the previous one. 
I just think it's very, it's much easier to go about it that way rather than layering all the color on at once and then going in with the shading. I think it's, I think tackling each one, one at a time, it just helps keep it a little simpler for me. I generally like working with as few layers as possible just because it's easier for me to keep track of everything. But that's just the way I like to work. Okay, so finishing up the image, I like to do something that I don't do all the time, but I think is really helpful, especially for this colorful pony series, which is I recolor all the line work to be a slightly darker color than the color that of it, what it is highlighting. Uh, I just think it makes the color pop a whole lot more and just makes the piece feel a lot more bright and soft and colorful, which is definitely what I want for this pony series. Okay, so now that Minty's done, we're going to be moving on to the second winter pony in the series, and that is Winter Snow. I think she is really cute. She's got a really simple design, so I definitely took some liberties. I gave her this sort of fuzzy coat cape thing that she's wearing um, around her neck, and I did play around with her color palette a little bit, as you can see on her toy and promotional image there in the corner. Um, she's kind of, she's really got... A very basic color palette. She's kind of a greenish bluish color with just white hair and so I, I definitely do take some liberties with her color palette just to give it a little more interesting. I make her, I gave her coat this nice light blue and her hair is white like she is in the promotional image but I do shade it with um, some purple so her hair ends up looking very purpley but I, I think it's okay. I, 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 I think it looks fine. <laughs> Uh, Winter Snow was one of the the uh, first ponies to come out in the Generation 3 series. The norm normally, whenever I do any kind of series like this, artwork-wise, I like to go in chronological order. Because uh, she didn't have as many accessories and and little colorful things as Minty did, her, she, her drawing took me a lot less time to do. And again, like I said, I already had the template pre-made. I have a lot of templates, so just so to... Because I'm going to be drawing so many of these ponies, I want to make it a little bit easier on myself. And as you can see, I'm referencing the, her actual cutie mark from the toy uh, just to uh, make it look right. And uh, as you can see, I struggled a little bit getting her snowflakes right, but I think I managed to get them okay looking in the end. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so now moving on, um, this next pony, Baby Winter Ice, uh, she didn't come out until a lot later in the G3 lineup, so I'm not really doing this in chronological order, but the reason that I'm doing her so soon right away is because, because her name is so similar to Winter Snow, I like to, I'm gonna headcanon them as, like, sisters, so I wanna put them together. Um, they're, they're not in canon, there really isn't very much any detail about these ponies in the actual canon, but... I just I just think it's, it would be a cool little detail, so that's what I'm going to be doing for them. And for any baby pony that I'm going to be doing in this series, I'm taking one of the templates that I pre-made, and I'm literally just shrinking the body down a little bit. I'm not changing the size of the head, but apart but I think but I think it works really good. I think I think but I think it's going to work fine. I definitely because they are sisters, I wanted to kind of make their color palettes a little bit similar. So we're kind of going with the blue and purple thing again, and and already the, the two original toys are already very similar in their color palette already, I think. So uh, I was just uh, kind of going by what felt right. 
And for her cutie mark, it was this really cute snowman. I actually just traced it on the actual toy just because I wanted to get the shape exactly right. And I, I, think, I think it looks really cute. I think it looks fine. Okay, moving on to the, to our final pony in this video, we're doing Candy Cane, which was another early release in the series. Uh, she's got a she's got a very simple design, just literally red and white with a Santa hat. So I I wanted to give her a little something more in my image of her, so that's why I gave her this little bear. I think it is you know I always associate like toys and stuff with Christmas, so I I think it's fitting for her. And I didn't go too crazy with her hairstyle because she is wearing a hat. Um, there are a couple other ponies in the Winter Pony series that are wearing hats. So when I do them, I'm going to have to do something a little different with their hairstyles or their poses or their color schemes just to make them all really stand apart from each other. Because, like I said, I don't want any two ponies in the series looking the same. I end up col I coloring her hair here, uh, a, a mixture of red and pink, but I do end up changing it to red and white later on in the video because I just think it adds, it's a better contrast and it also matches the, the, uh, her depiction in the show a little bit more. I also gave her freckles because I think they're cute and I think her design just needed a little bit of something extra. I should also mention that every single reference image that I'm using I got off of the My Little Wiki page. And uh, they, they literally have like every single My Little Pony merchandise, images, and, and information. That's where I got everything. And in the image that I found of her online, she has this little bow on her tail, this little poinsettia looking bow. It's not a part of her like actual toy product included, but it's just something she had in the image. And so I'm going to be giving her that because um, I, I, like I said, I'm going to be giving these ponies different accessories and I need all the inspiration I can get because I'm going to be doing a lot of these. This is going to take me a very long time to get this project done, but I'm excited because I really do love the third generation of My Little Pony. It's what I grew up with and I'm just excited to bring every single one of these ponies to life and just give them sort of my treatment. All right, so that pretty much does it for this video. Um, expect another video next week, and I will see y'all later. Thanks for watching.